cellular metabolism is essential for all cells to carry out their functions. And altered metabolism plays an important role in the development of many cancers. In normal cells, IDH enzymes facilitate the cell's energy production from glucose and other metabolites. IDH1 localizes to the cytoplasm. IDH2 to the mitochondria. IDH1 and IDH2 enzymes catalyze the conversion of isocitrate to alpha-ketoglutarate. This reaction requires NADP as a cofactor, which is converted to NADPH that can help protect cells from the toxic effects of reactive oxygen species. In addition to its role in metabolism, Alpha-ketoglutarate is an important substrate for cytoplasmic and nuclear alpha-ketoglutarate-dependent enzymes to carry out their normal functions. In the nucleus, these enzymes help regulate DNA and histone methylation patterns, which turn the expression of genes on and off, including genes critical to cellular differentiation. In IDH mutant-positive cancers, IDH mutant enzymes acquire a new or neoenzymatic gain of function activity that may disrupt normal cellular metabolism. The IDH mutant enzyme dimer has a normal and a mutated copy. The normal copy generates alpha-ketoglutarate. However, the mutated copy takes alpha-ketoglutarate and converts it to the oncometabolite 2-hydroxyglutarate, or 2-HG. This reaction consumes NADPH, which may increase reactive oxygen species and thus promotes oncogenesis. This leads to an accumulation of 2-HG levels within the cell. The excess production of 2-HG can disrupt the function of cytoplasmic and nuclear alpha-ketoglutarate-dependent enzymes. This disruption occurs because of the chemical similarity between 2-HG and alpha-ketoglutarate. 2-HG binding to alpha-ketoglutarate-dependent enzymes prevents their ability to demethylate DNA and histones. Therefore, elevated levels of 2-HG are associated with the abnormal methylation of DNA and histone proteins. Research suggests that hypermethylation of DNA and histones alter the transcription of key genes including those necessary for differentiation. The result is a block in cellular differentiation and an accumulation of immature cells, which potentially contributes to oncogenesis in IDH mutant cancers. Inhibition of the IDH mutant enzyme prevents 2-HG production and is believed to help restore cellular metabolism. The decrease in 2-HG levels allows alpha-ketoglutarate to bind to alpha-ketoglutarate-dependent enzymes and may restore function of DNA and histone-modifying enzymes. This can result in reversal of DNA and histone hypermethylation and allows expression of genes that are involved in cellular differentiation. Preclinical studies suggest that inhibition of IDH mutation releases the differentiation block, which may allow immature cells to differentiate rather than persist and grow as a tumor. IDH mutation inhibition may have important implications for cancer cells with IDH mutations, and investigations are underway to determine their clinical potential. <laughs>